All right, you're with Al, and this is Chronicles of Not Yet Champion Golfer. This is kind of take two of this video because first attempt, it absolutely lamped down. Oh, that is so good. In the, oh no, that's thunder. Oh! So tonight I'm gonna to try and make as many birdies as I can. I'm gonna do this over 18 holes. It'll be in different sections this video because it'll go on forever otherwise. Starting on the 11th, at my home course, Brombra. Make as many birdies as I can. Get into that aggressive mindset. Just on the golf course, not physically. And yeah, see how many we can make. Right, I'm really gonna try and put into play what me and the Biff spoke about on that video when he sort of caddied for me. Really go through that process that we spoke about. So this hole, I don't know if you remember last time, par five with the silver birches up the left. I couldn't reach it with three wood. It's later in the evening now. Wind's out the right. I think I could reach it with three wood. I definitely can reach it with three wood. So I'm hitting three iron. For the reason that it's a bigger space, I know it's a par five, looking to make birdie, but it's so narrow. You know, I don't want to be reckless. It's so narrow once you get up by a pond that's up the right, that it's probably either going to be three wood, three iron into the green, or three iron, three wood into the green, possibly three iron, three iron. I just think the second shot is less risk than the first. So safer with the first one, more aggressive with the second shot. Pick the target, pick the shot, play it. Come left a bit, come left a bit. That's good. A little wind out the right in it, that helped me. Apparently there's been a fox round here on the back of the 10th green, stealing people's golf balls. So I'm really hopeful that's gonna show up tonight. I'm gonna come back round to play the 10th later. 2.43. Yeah, if I got that moving right to left, I reckon I could have had 2.20 in here. Right, gives me a bit of a decision, really. Sloth looking at me there, staring at me, back of the buggy. All right, he's watching. Give us some inspiration, lad. Right, let's go through the process. 2.43 to the pin, front pin. Wind straight out the right. Playing yardage depends on what shape you hit. I like hitting a cut with a three wood, I just prefer that controlled shot. So I'm gonna try and cut a three wood and hold it in there. Pins at the front, so there's loads of room behind that pin. I just think trying to sling in a three iron, it's very difficult to hit that green. I'm likely to get it right trap or moving too far left. I just feel the control of a three wood's better, so that's the shot. That's not the shot. Left, not cut. That is not the shot. Come on, if you're gonna hit a cut, hit a cut. Very difficult to cut this club. Probably should have thought of that before I decided to cut it. You know, I can't be too annoyed with that because that's the whole reason why I went conservative off the tee, aggressive with the second shot. Because there's more room, second shot. And that's fine, I've still got a chance for a birdie. I'm still gonna have not too difficult to chip, hopefully. Just didn't cut it. But I committed to it, I played the shot, I thought I just didn't get the shape. Never mind. Here we are, there she is there. It's not bad. 23 yards, I wanna land this about three quarters. Even a little bit more, I wanna land it about, I want it running about five yards. Into wind. 23 yards, I want to hit this like 18 yards into wind. I think it'll start pitching into a little upslope as well, so I've gone 54. Always try and feel it in the grass, what it's going to react like. Now I'm playing to get the, you know, birdies or eagles, so I'm trying to hold this all the time. Every chip shot you should try and hold it. Go. Trying to hold it out. That's poor that. That is poor that. See, I need to be more aggressive than that. Tell you what, I didn't actually picture the shot properly. Picture egg! Wow, right next to where my camera is, look. A little egg. What's hatched from that, do you think? Oh, it's a bit gross inside. You think that is? What was I talking about then? 
right, there's no concern here of the next putt. Not that there would be anyway from sort of seven feet, but you literally hold it or you move on. Hold it is the option. That's another thing, it gets you like really focused because you really want to make it. And I know you always want to make it, but you're like, right, birdie, this is it. It's the only shot that you're concentrating on. And that's such a big deal if you can be so focused on the individual shot and not focused on a shot that's maybe a couple of shots away, which you can be when you're negative. You can sort of get that way and worry about making bad numbers. Only focusing on making birdies. One. Straight into wind today, this. It's always driver anyways, the aggressive play, but definitely into wind, it's driver. Teed up a little lower, just because I like to get on top of it into wind. It's feel a bit more control when it's teed a little lower. Pick a target. Pick the shape. Little draw. A little low fade. Perfect, but I called the draw, so it looked like an idiot. Never call the shot, the shape. Said little draw, then a bit, a little low squeezy fade. A little over the top jobby. You can get that a little bit sometimes when I'm into win. Get a bit, but always call the shot. Actually, that's really bad advice. Always call the shot. You're never going to play it all the time, and I'm actually fine. I'm in the left side of the fairway, so not a problem. Look at this bit of live buggy cam. There he is, there. There he is. Whee! 90 yards we've got into a big wind. You know what? Like, normally, say this wind now, it might be the difference between a five and a six iron. You know, if you've got like 180, 190, or whatever, but. I always feel when you've got the wedges in, it makes such a bigger difference. So, 90 yards. I think it's playing like a 110 shot. Just gonna go little wedge, what I would normally hit 110 like shot. So, just to swing into about there and through. Slower sort of pace, takes a little bit of spin off. Shouldn't start coming back to me. Sit down. Oh, blow it wind, blow it wind, blow it wind, blow it wind. Miles, miles, miles. No, I do that a lot. Like overplay stuff. The wind's not that strong. Played it nice, it's just gone so far. I'm not being negative by the way, I just really want birdies. So when I don't hit it close, it's a bit annoying, but I'm not gonna birdie every hole, am I? But it's just got a hole like 50 footer down the hill now which you can do you've always got a chance until you pass that birdie mark you've always got a chance that's low that's low ah knew it straight away didn't hit the spot no birdie there no birdie there pace was spot on but i missed my spot Still on one through two. That's a decent start. Now this hole, it wouldn't necessarily always be driver. It's only like 320, but I just feel driver can get into out the left. I just feel driver can get me within that scoring zone within 100 yards. And if you can get it within that 100 yards, you're so much more likely to give yourself a chance at birdie. And I know I'm pretty strong with the pitching now. That's something I literally thought I would never ever say. Yeah, I do. I feel strong with the pitching, so get it into that number. Demanding tee shot, but you just got to hit it. Sometimes you've just got to hit good shots. You've got two decisions when it's so windy. Either play and allow the wind to move the ball, or work the ball against it. Not in between. Sometimes I think a left to right wind. I'll pick a start line to let the wind move it, but then I'll kind of save it as well. And just hold it left. So, got to make a decision and commit to it. Now, this wind straight out of the left. I want to commit to it, start it left and let the wind move it. So get those poplar trees up the left side and just let it move back. I know there's no danger of reaching the far trees and that's, it's going to move at least, you know, 10 yards. So it's going to be safe regardless. 
and if it overcuts, it's fine. Give myself the best chance. Oh, I'll just hit a drawer again. Yeah. Just said on the last I'm overplaying the wind. It's not moved it. I think sometimes, and this is something I probably need to pay a bit of attention to. I still get a feeling sometimes over the ball where I'm not comfortable because of sort of past faults. So, you know, I've had it in the locker to hit it quite a long way right at times. That was always my fault with driver. But in all honesty, I haven't done that for a long time where I ballooned it off the planet. Still, when I get a left to right wind, I sometimes still feel a little bit like, I don't know, it's just through the ball a little bit. Save it, make sure it doesn't go miles right, which result goes left. Exactly what I spoke about on the tee. But I think that just takes commitment, and that's my own issue there, really. That's something I need to address and make sure, Al, you pick your line, commit to it. And it's kind of going back to what, um, what Matt Wallace spoke about, believe in what I'm talking about. And sometimes I just don't think I trust myself enough as I should, because I've done a lot of work and my game feels good, so I should trust it. Just got to do it more. Just looked it up, by the way. Justin Thomas on PJ Tour was the most, had the highest birdie percentage at like 27%. So it's like just over one in four, which is like four and a half, 4.7 birdies or something around, which is surprising. I thought it'd be more than that, the average. So, look, I'd like, you know, but you hear when the low scores are making six, seven, eight, nine birdies around. And that's kind of what I want to, Oh, get used to you're not gonna do it all the time but at least sometimes right this is our shot anyway those trees are a little bit in play so i might have to control one in a little bit 84 yards wind in out the left i'm gonna try and play a little draw with a 50 just because i think that keeps it lower underneath the tree and also it'll just help against that wind Wind won't affect it as much because I'm keeping it lower. Little draw, less spin. Hit the tree like, which isn't great, is it? Run out. <laughs> oh. This game sometimes. Hit the tree, but just a little upslope that didn't really take that into account. It's a chance for a birdie. This would be a controversial birdie, this, to be fair. I'm going to make it, you know. I've got that feeling. There's no way this isn't going in. Why do you get that feeling? Right, start again. Oh, hit it, hit it, hit it. I had it. Hit it. I had it, I had it. Someone behind me now. Someone behind me gonna have to let him through. I had that, I felt good over that. What's that? One birdie, three holes. Bit of a birdie hole that. Didn't play that great, did I, to be honest. Driver's a bit left. Pitch shot was a little upslope at the tree. Ah, anyway. Just whilst I'm waiting here with sloth. Oh, all right. The game is about, well, it's trying to train myself to not back off. I think when you get a good score going and it's relative to anyone, you know, whatever handicap, I think when you get a good score going, it's only kind of natural to kind of fear losing what you've already gained. So, you know, if you're a few under your handicap or you're a few under par, whatever it is, you can sort of get the fear of don't give it away and more often than not you give it away so this game really creates that sort of mindset of don't back off keep pushing it's not about being reckless it's not taking on silly shots that you wouldn't do normally but it's just aiming to keep making birdies keep making scores and i think that's where the top players that's why when they're five under through nine they'll go on and they'll shoot nine under because they keep pushing and that's why they can go really, really low at times. 
and that's kind of where I need to get to. I've always been the one that could probably, you know, could go out in a really low score. Remember I did it in a Euro Pro once and I was five under through seven, four under through nine, but hitting it so good and then literally just scraped it around the back nine and level part and like scrambled for that just because I got almost like worried about losing that score that I'd gained or what's the point? You know, the scores to win tournaments now are, you know, some of them are pushing 20 under par. One round is a seven under. You've got to be able to shoot those numbers. So that's what this is about, really. Just smash it and shoot as many birdies as you can. And also wildlife. I've seen an egg so far. I would like to see some chicks. I would like to see a fox, a rabbit, and some of those house martins. They were the other day. Cleared that up, house martins. Biggest chance I've got of making birdie here is hitting as hard as I can over the edge of this tree. Wind's out the right, it'll hit up to that fair and it'll just move in. Just hit it as hard as I can. I normally hit a draw when I hit it hard, which is what I want. What's your target? That fair tree. What's your shape? Little draw on the wind. Back to target, see the line and go. Yep, thank you. Talk it through, execute, move on. You realise only the game's about creating good habits and the 13th tee just before. I didn't see the shape, didn't see the shape at all. But that's because I need to really work on that routine that we did, me and the Biff did that video. Talking about routine, the process. You need to get in the habit of making effective process, make effective shots, making effective process. Makes sense, Al. Right, we've actually not come in quite as much as I thought I would have. Thought that wind was moving it, but it's there in the semi, but divot jobby. That is disappointing. 136, front pin, down at the right, divot, but actually, you know what? It's all right, if it's at the back of the divot, so the front of the divot wouldn't be great, but it's not bad there. You can get to the back of the ball easy enough. 136, but coming out of the rough, although it should still spin out of that line. I think it's playing, playing yardage is 130 down out the right. I like 50 degree because I can be aggressive out of that. I want it landing on the green and stopping. I think an easy wedge isn't stopping quick enough for me. Oh, be good. Be good. Be good. Be good. Be good. Be good. Sit there. That's good. It listened. That was actually quite a nice lie, that. Pin eye just to the left. That's a birdie chance, that. My range that. Just going through my head now, what would the Biff say to me when I'm playing the shots? That'll help me because he'll talk me through the process in my head. He'll probably will like call me some sort of offensive name as well, but we'll cut that bit out. A little bit further away than I thought, but that's a chance there, there she is. Pin eye. Always focus on your start point. My start point in this pot is here and then when I look up at the hole I'm not looking at the hole I'm following that line so I'm looking at my start line I'm following the line into the hole I think if I just looked at the hole now I'm likely to push it because that's not my target always look at where your start line is move 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 it's a good put that you know what like I said before, I'm only getting annoyed because I want to make birdies, but that's not negative. I've started that online. I've given myself a chance. I've hit a good pot. I felt like I've made a good stroke. Stupid thing didn't break though. Still on one birdie through. Four. That's on pretty much PGA Tour average. One in four. That's all right. That's good. Right, tough hole now. 4.45, straight into wind. 
normally one where you'd think, you know, par's a good score, but you, you may be kind of a bit nervous on it because it's one that you could drop shots on quite often. But this game, you can't afford that. You're trying to make birdies. doesn't matter if you drop a shot. doesn't matter at all. You're trying to make a birdie or move on. So there's no fear here. No fear here. That rhymes. I'm not in a better shot than that. That's as good as I can do. I learned off that other hole where I didn't commit to it. I picked my target there, played a little fade off the left. If I'm scoring there, you know, I'm in a tournament or whatever, I'd get on that tee and I'd be a bit, none of that, literally none of that, because what I've spoke about on the tee there, doesn't matter for make bogey, tell yourself that, doesn't matter. And it doesn't matter what's gonna happen. You know, try your best to make a birdie. And if you don't, you don't. It's amazing the difference that makes. Maybe this is the attitude you need when you go out and play and I'm kind of feeling a little bit, I shouldn't focus on what's happened before, I don't want to get into that, but maybe a little bit like, oh, I've only made one birdie. Well, that's fine, isn't it? You know, one birdies, do that every four holes, I'm flying. But I have, that was as good a three wood as I could hit there, that's just as I seen it there. And I'm made up because you need it left side of the fairway because if you're right side, you're blocked out by those poplars. And now I'm not, I've opened it up. I mean, we've still got 195 into a wind out the left. Playing yardage, what would Biff say? What would Biff say? He'd say I've got a big nose, which doesn't help. I think it's playing about 210, I reckon, with that wind. It's quite soft. This is perfect for a four iron starting. Left edge of the fringe, let it just drift back. Come on then, drift then, drift then, drift then, drift then. It's a chance. Bit of an outside chance. Didn't quite catch that to be honest. You probably heard it was a little bit, probably a groove too low. So it's a little bit short, kind of front left. It's from 195 on this hole, you're happy being on in two, but for this game, again, that's why it's good. You're asking yourself, how can I make birdie from here? What shot do I need to hit? Unfortunately, it wasn't that one, but we can still make one. I think always looking at like sort of a five foot circle around the hole. See what it does at that point. Try and pick where your straight putt is. So straight downhill putt is from this side of the hole. That's me straight uphill. So I know it's going to be coming from the left then. That's where the putt's going to have the least pace, where it's going to take the most amount of break. Go. Go, 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 go! Straight up the hill. Hit it, man. Hit it. I think that's two now. I think I'd have had that if I hit it. I didn't hit it, though, so. It's actually a good putt. It's a good par on that hole, but. Pars are no good in this game. One birdie through five. Right, par three. I'll tell you how far it is now, it'd be good if I measured it first. 140 we've got. Wind. Straight out the left. I think it's just playing that number. I've got eight iron out here, it's the wrong club. 140, playing 140. Just a little bit off a nine iron. Slightly down the grip, but still play aggressively with it. Nine iron, no wind is 150 club. Starting in the middle of that bunker, just short of the green. Letting the wind just move it back into that front right pin. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Don't know if it's a little short, that. Also don't know if I caught it a little bit heavy. So over the trap, I just it's bang on pin, bang on line, I just don't know can't see it and I can see the bottom of the hole, so I think it's a little short. Don't know if I caught it a bit heavy, I really should know that, but let's go see anyway. It was strange that. It seemed to like just fall out the sky. Don't know if there's like a little gust up there, if I did get it a little heavy. Felt alright. Bit of a divot, which obviously I don't mind, a bit of a divot, but 
and it felt like I got a little bit stuck underneath it, which is kind of why it felt that way, but we might be all right. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good, we're short on line. It's actually a really good spot below the hole, straight up the hill. Well done, Al. Didn't tactically fat it, struck it well. Don't even mention the fact, look at this little bird here. Hello, look at him. Oh, gone. It's gonna fall off the right, this. Up the hill though, so you can be aggressive. Move then, yes, yes! Bang in the middle that. Bang in the middle that. Suits a right-handed player. Uphill, right to left. Don't know why, because I'd much prefer a straight putt. I did like the look of that though. Okay, feel like the pressure's off a little bit there. Two in six. It's all right. That's one in three, average. Well worked out. Par five, wind out the right. It goes into a down slope. It's a tree up the left that can really block you out. I think it can get down the dip anyway. I don't need like it to go miles because it'll run downhill anyway. So into a right to left wind, I'm just going to hold a little fade against it. Just I think I can hit the middle of the fairway that way rather than moving across right to left and getting blocked out by that tree on the left. No more fade than that. No more fade than that. I might be blocked out by the trees on the right. Keep over, like, overestimating the wind. It's actually died, to be honest. There's actually no wind. There's literally zero wind now. No wind at all there. No, no wind. On that tee, again, process, sticking to it, getting in the habit. That was like, I'll judge the wind off the hole before. The hole before was Gale out the left. So I know this one's out the right, whereas the wind had completely died. The wind 10 minutes ago makes no difference to what the shot you're hitting at that point. What's it saying about good habits? So trying not to get blocked out by that tree. Blocked out a bit by that tree. But, pins up there. I reckon I can move it. 190 we've got. Check the wind this time, don't just judge it what it was like three hours ago. Just a bit out the right. I'm obviously hitting a cut against the wind. So it's not gonna go as far. So I've got four iron, which is normally like 210. But holding that cut against it, I think we'll take 20 yards off. And the cut doesn't go as far anyway, so. I actually like the look of this shot. Come on, cut, cut a bit more, cut a bit more. Oh, that could be so good. I hope that flight can pick that up because that literally, I don't know how far it's run up, but that, it just looked good to me, that, that shot. Just like suited it. Prefer a fade anyway, down slope, keep it low under the tree. I enjoy that. I don't think anything about technique when you're hitting that shot. Do you find that? That when you have to, I talk to the camera like you can answer me. But when you've got to play a shot where you've got to create something, a little bit of a fade or around a tree or a low one, whatever it is, I don't think about the technique, just hit it. See the shot because it's so much easier to draw that image in your head. Hit that shot and, and you pull it off. Well, I tend to pull it off more often than I would do if I've just got a big massive space and I almost can't see a shape as well. You know, even if it's a tee shot and you say draw a shape, I can't see it as well. Maybe I need to picture that obstacle in my way. I've got it pin eye there, look. I've got a chance for eagle. This game's mad, isn't it? You think you're struggling for birdies and you're thinking, oh, I need to make one soon. You hold a good putt for one. Next one, you've got a chance for eagle. This game kind of teaches you that as well. You've, you've always got a chance. You can birdie four in a row. Like, there's always a chance. And that's kind of what it's given me here. Stand at the side of the putt as well helps you out because it gets a good perspective of what way the green is sloping. This is kind of sloping that way. So it's straight across the slope. It's not a massive slope. Move. No, it's not. It's not moved.
Can't get angry or swear or anything when there's a member walking past the green. Be interesting to watch that back. I think I started online, I've just overread it. Said it's not that big a slope. It's a birdie. Look, it's a birdie. I had a chance for an eagle. I missed it. It's a birdie. If I'd hit it onto 25 feet from where I was over there and two putts that I'd ever made up. So, it's a birdie. That's three in seven. That's good. It's good, Bob. You should come round and watch me. First fair way of it. On the camera and everything. What more do you want? <laughs> Cheers, Bob. That was good. To be honest with you, um, I'm starting to feel more now after the lesson I had the other week. I'm starting to feel more like you can take it out on the golf course. I played Wallasey uh, a couple of weeks ago, and I think I remember I parred the first three and had a stretch of seven holes where I made five birdies. And it's getting more into that sort of mode. Don't get me wrong, I make mistakes and you know I add some bogeys and stuff, but getting used to making those birdies. And during this, I haven't thought about my score once. Haven't thought about it once. Literally purely thinking about making birdies. And that's that's a bit of a revelation really. Because of, yeah, I'm not aware of what score am I? I just suppose I'd be three under. I don't really think, I haven't made a bogey, have I? Again, anything can get you away from the score and focusing on the shot at hand, what's gonna give you the best chance to make birdie can only be a good thing. This is me drive anyway. Fairway job. There's the pin. White pin, back pin. Tough finishing all this. It's just tight, but if you can get it in the fairway, it's a tight green as well, but it's irrelevant. We're going at the target here. Wind out the left, 131. Not massively out the left, I think it's playing that yardage. I think when you're on an upslope as well, always be careful to make sure that you consciously turn in the body because the slope fights against that and it's so easy to flip it left because the body stops turning. So I always try and make a conscious effort to really make sure the body is turning through. Come on, come on, go a bit, go a bit. Looks pretty good. Don't know if it's got all the way back there. Can't tell. Might be a bit short, might be good, don't know. I executed the shot I wanted to play, so I'm happy. I am not happy because I haven't seen any wildlife. Nothing. Bit of rain in the air though. Bob, by the way, who was commentating on my shot off the tee. What a great bloke he is. He's inspired me there. But what a great bloke he is. I've known him since I was a kid. Here at the golf club, absolute legend. And I want him to come around and watch me now because I hit good drives when he watches. Yeah, we are a little short. In any other circumstances, it's a good, solid, safe shot where you would be playing it because you don't want to go long. But we're trying to make birdies, so I would have liked it. Always like it a little closer. Stop saying that. It's a good shot. I execute the swing, take it, hold the putt. Got to hit it, that is pathetic. That. I was just thinking where Bob was, whether he's watching or not. Not the one I was looking for, not the finish. I was... It's not the finish, is it? This is the 18th, but I haven't played the 10th yet. Yes! Still got a chance. Three birdies through eight. 155. Five. Back pin again. Down out the right, playing yardage 150, just a perfect 9 iron. I like it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. It's a bit of a pull, that needs to sit down. Sit down. Okay, it's a bit left. Panic then, thought I'd lost my ball. Come on, Fox. It's been stealing golf balls. Been on here. Running on the ball, on the green, stealing golf balls. 
He's got like a nest of golf balls somewhere. Felt that shot then, but I just pulled it. Felt a little bit rushed, to be honest, routine-wise. Another thing you can do is time your routine. Make sure it's right all the time. Oh, I've missed the green even. I've even missed the green. I thought I'd caught the back left. Missed the green. Is that the first green I've missed? There's always a chance, though, in this game. Like, it doesn't finish until you've played your chance, your shot for birdie. You can always hold a chip or whatever. Always got a chance, as long as you can find your ball. There's the pin. There's my pitch mark. There's my ball. But where the hell is this fox? No, it's right. Ah. <laughs> Again, it's a pretty good chip. I struggle off that sort of lie. I struggle to strike it properly. I need to do a bit of work on that, really. Not that comfortable from an upslope like that. I always feel like I'm going to dig it in a bit. Since I've been working it around me a bit more, I do strike it a bit better, but didn't hold it. So, it's a pretty good chip. You take that. Tap him with a wedge. First nine holes done. Like I said before, I'm not focused on the score at all. Didn't think about the score once, only thinking about making birdies. If we can take that attitude into tournament play or when I'm just playing all the time against the Biff. I think I'd score better. It's not about being reckless. You know, that was a bad mistake on this last hole. Shouldn't go longer that pin. You know, okay, try and get it close, but the yardage that the flag is 155. That's my maximum. I shouldn't be hitting it 165 because that's not good over there. Although I know I've got it up and down, but you know, it's those sort of things where you've still got to play properly, not just be reckless with it. But three birdies in nine holes, Overall, I'm pretty happy with that and I'm happy with where my game's at. You know, a little bit more work in that routine stuff, the stuff that me and the Biff spoke about in the other video. I think working on that and getting into good habits because I'm still a little bit lapse in that sometimes. Um, working on that as much as I'd be working on swing. It takes just as much practice. But three birdies, we're doing all right. Uh, if you could subscribe, that'd be great because these videos will be coming out. Obviously, I broke this video down into a few segments so over the 18 if you want to carry on see how many i make then if you could subscribe that'd be great and i'll see you next tuesday and i'll see you down the line no fox absolutely no fox it's really what i was just sort of rabbiting on for them was to get the fox but no fox